I made a previous video so that other people could find a cordless handset or uh, unit with a headphone jack. It used to be standard for almost all Panasonic phones up until a couple of years ago. And now there's very few select phones that um, have an actual handset jack. Headset jack, and um, there aren't that many phones actually um, not made by Panasonic third parties that um, have one either. So I wanted to make it easy for people to find at least one of them. Then the issue becomes finding a headset that actually fits the headset jack. And um, as I found out the hard way, not only does a um, you know standard headset from a um, that you would use with your cell phone not work because these are three and a half millimeters, and this turns out this is two and a half millimeters input. Um, the adapters that are sold for these online, Amazon, eBay, and otherwise, <laughs> there are hardly that any work, or at least I haven't found it. In fact, I searched long and hard, tried to find an adapter. Um, I looked at, I ended up on forums where it turns out most people end up making their own adapters. When I say adapters, they're little pieces that, you know, connect into one side and fit in the other, male and female. And uh, on Amazon, I went through a lot of reviews. I finally, finally chose one that I thought would work. It said it worked for Panasonic phones. Got it, paid $11. Turns out it didn't work. Had to send it back, pay in the butt. Um, there are even, uh, you know, people, <laughs> tons of stories, uh, anecdotal on, on, on Amazon reviews that people tried stuff, didn't work. So in the end, after my bad experience, I ended up just buying the original uh, Panasonic KXTCA 430. Um, headset. It's got a two and a half millimeter jack, and I'll just show you the difference. When you look at it, you'll understand why these don't, why the normal headset. This is two and a half millimeters versus three and a half. Big difference. Um, anyway, one of the reasons you know people will right away ask if you saw the other review. The other review is on uh, uh, this, this Panasonic phone, which has Bluetooth capability, which means it can use a uh, Bluetooth ear set wireless. Why don't I use that? Well, for a number of reasons. Number one, I didn't want to be bound to um, the battery life of the ear set and then have to worry about it running out throughout the day. Or, you know, I use this phone from morning to night because I use it as a house phone. I have my uh, cell phone forwarding there and work phone. I use it uh, working from home with COVID, as are many of you, which is also why I'm doing this video. It's probably more demand for these types of things. So I didn't want to be bound by the battery uh, life. I, as you use a um, the battery on a uh, rechargeable or rechargeable battery on a wireless ear set that works on Bluetooth, the battery life degrades over time. The more times you charge it and, and drain it down, recharge it, the battery life degrades. That's true of a cell phone, true of any phone, your mobile phone. So didn't want that issue. Uh, and finally, I didn't want to have to do the research in terms of, I have no idea if it does or doesn't, I can't prove you know, the health effects of using a uh, Bluetooth set by my head every day for you know, <laughs> I don't know how many hours a day, but I just didn't want to go down that road. I want the reliability of a cord. So I got a corded headset. And um, as I said, I went with the original Panasonic and um, it was 19.99 on Amazon. I, you know, it paid up a little bit more than, you know, say one of these uh, mobile headsets, but fall in actually worked out better because the adapter alone was $11. I just figured the ease of using one headset between my cellular and um, and this cordless would be easier, but it's been no problem. Um, I couldn't be happier with the purchase. Um, I was a little worried based on some of the reviews that you know people complained that it was slipping off their head, this and that, but um, no issues whatsoever. I'm gonna go through the details right now. It's a fitted, uh, it's a fitted piece. It's adjustable for your head size based on here. It's reversible, which means you can wear it on the right side of your, um, uh, you know, of your head or, or your left just by flipping this piece around. It's not too tight and it's not slipping anywhere. So I have it at the perfect thing. This is flexible. It's a soft plastic. If you can see that. And so it shapes, you know, takes the shape of your head perfectly. And I'm able to do, even do exercises if I wanted to while wearing this and speaking to people on my cordless. Um, I've had no issues at all. It's foldable, which means, you know, if you wanted to, uh, you know, put it into a drawer, that's possible. If you want to hang it somewhere, you can do that out of the way. I tend to leave it on my desk, which looks a bit messy, but no worries. Um, the biggest or the best thing about this phone is this flexible boom. And that's what differentiates us, uh, not this phone, but this headset. And that's what differentiates it from others. So while you're wearing it, you can literally move this piece anywhere you want. If you want to be, you know, talk to somebody, you put it close to your mouth, you're not using it, 
move it away. If they can't hear you, move like that. I mean, it literally just goes in any direction, and that's unique. The headset, which is also different from some others, um, it comes with this. And this gives you the ability to adjust the volume. And the phone by itself, the original phone, you can see in the original review, is actually quite loud. So I intend to keep this on the lowest thing. But if you wanted to, um, you can raise and lower the, the volume from, from for the headset from here. It's got a mute button. Now, some people like this idea. Some people, they, the, this particular mute button, in order to mute, you have to hold it down. So initially, I thought that's a bad thing uh, because generally, you, know, you want to put something on mute and you press it once and now they're muted and you undo it. Um, as it turns out, um, working from home, I had some construction around me. And so there are times where I need to be, can't have it on permanent mute because I have to like say something, then, then mute, say something again, then mute, uh, you know, with the construction around me. And um, that's actually worked out pretty well because at the end of the day, you can always press your mute. Uh, there's a mute button on here when it's live. You just press one button. So this actually gives me optionality. I can just hold it down for three seconds if I want to say something to someone in the background if need be, and so be it. So this turned out to be a little handy. Uh, this is an alligator clip, so you can clip it onto your shirt or sweatshirt, whatever you're wearing to uh, keep the wire out of your way. I mean, if I had one complaint, it's just that the wire is a little bit <laughs> too long for my purposes. Uh, but that's not a big deal whatsoever. By the way, you can move this uh, to wherever you need it to adjust it to wherever you're wearing it. And um, the solution to wire being too long is just coiling it up, take the extra. I put this little band around it and, uh, and prob you know, problem solved. These are also noise canceling. It's hard to measure the effectiveness. Uh, you can't really just ask people, but um, that is a stated feature. So if you go in the way of the Panasonic phone, you can try the adapter way. I don't, good luck. If you find an adapter that works for these phones, and obviously they, apparently it differs by phone, by the way, um, because the adapter that I bought, there were people who said, yeah, it worked on their Panasonic phone. It did not for this. Maybe it only works on the older phones. I'm not sure. But if you find one that works for, uh, for all phones, please uh, share it because they're hard to find. As I said, there are tons of people that end up making their own um, little adapters for their, so that they can use their, um, mobile headset. But otherwise it is a great headset. I couldn't be happier. Ignore the reviews that say it's going to slip this and that. I don't know, unless they have a really tiny head, but even then it's adjustable. You could literally close it all off. Look how small that gets. I mean, a child could wear this. Be. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the, uh, comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you found this at all helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, subscribe down below. Thank you for joining me.